Hello everybody, back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week is going well for you and I hope that today is going well for you. Today is Friday, 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 May the 10th, 2024. It is about 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you had a great Friday. I hope it's been a productive Friday. I hope that life is just going well for you. I hope that you are planning something fun and exciting for the weekend. Um, as for me, I'm doing good. Um, had a pretty good day at work. Pretty typical day. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. I just don't really have much to say about today. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It was a good day, though. I will say that. It was a good day. It was a good day. Let's talk about roller skates. Roller skating. These roller skates, I bought these, and as you can see, they have scuff marks on them. I bought these roller skates, um, I'm trying to think of when I bought them, back in uh, 20, either 2019 or like early 2020, because I remember once um, they shut everything down in 2020, um, I kind of stopped, but I do remember having these before they shut everything down. So I've had these about, I, well, I'd say over four years now. I haven't gone skating recently, but I kind of want to go back now because the thing about it and the reason why I have these is because I was unpacking everything um, from my move into my new apartment and um, I found these. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really lose them or anything, but I just, I guess you could say I was reminded that I have these and that this was something I used to do two or three times a week. I would go down to the roller skating rink and just skate around for a couple hours. These skates are called the um, Sure Grip. Hold up. Hmm. These are some Sure Grip some roller roller skates. Sure Grip International. I think that's the name of the company, but. I guess that's the name of this variety of skate as well, but um, these skates here, they're actually a uh, they're a size, uh, let's see they're a size 11 US um, Europe size 44 United Kingdom size 10 um, man, these are some really good skates though, I can't lie I do believe I paid, um, if I remember correctly, either $120 or $130 for that pair of skates. So they're definitely not the cheapest skates, but they are definitely not the most expensive skates. Uh, these skates, um, these here. I think these are great for a beginner. I like that they're high top as well. Uh, keeps your foot very cushioned. Helps against. Um, it it kind of helps you stay a bit more stable than a low top shoe as well. Um, I like them. I like them. Um, 
I think Sure Grip makes some pretty good skates um, for beginners at least. Um, um, some of the more expensive kind of skates are like Rydales, but we, you know, Rydale skates, we're talking like top of the line roller skates. And so I think that uh, those Sure Grips are pretty good. I think that, um, you know, I really want to. I need to get back into roller skating. I wonder if I should make like an ASMR video like from the roller skating rink. I don't know. I don't know how I, I, in the world I'd be able to do that because they're always playing like loud music in there. one that I used to go to all the time one roller skating rink that I used to go to all the time but it ended up shutting down like permanently closing I don't know if they just weren't making enough money decided to open up some other type of business or what but it was pretty sad that they shut down when I learned they weren't gonna open back up I was like, man, that's sad. I would go in there during the weekday. And they, it, it would still be a pretty good amount of people. In that uh, roller skating rink that I would go to. But they, they shut down. Look at those scuff marks. <laughs> you can tell I have had some times with this this roller skate. Do any of y'all roller skate? Let me know in the comments below. I was just kind of thinking about like just the whole, I guess you could say, concept of installing wheels un under a shoe. And I was thinking about like, I'm pretty sure the first person that's thought of that idea and has actually attempted and actually attempted to put wheels on the bottom of a shoe was laughed at. Right? But look at how popular roller skating is today. I mean, just think about that. It's popular. It's fun. It's one of the best ways to burn calories. So it's healthy, it's good for you. But course roller skating you do want to be careful though um, if you're new you you will fall so honestly I think if you're new I recommend you wear like knee pads arm pads maybe a helmet because you will fall when you're learning how to roller skate multiple times so you know you do want to place safety first and so I would definitely recommend that but um, I'm not gonna lie um, I used to practice on like tennis courts um, because the ten tennis courts usually had like very uh, smooth surfaces and so I would go and uh, practice like roller skating on a tennis court and I, I'm pretty much self-taught like I kind of just well I guess you could say I watched YouTube videos and YouTube taught me 
So I'd say YouTube taught me how to roller skate. Like I didn't have anybody like in person, you know, train me on how to roller skate. I kind of just did it myself. Took the falls, took the bumps, bruises, but I learned. And it's fun. I I used to go all the time. I, I don't know why I ended up stopping. I got to get back into it. It's fun. I would say if you're somebody who's never learned how to roller skate, I would say go out there and try it. Um, make this a uh, hobby that you decide you want to learn. I'm telling you, it's fun. Once you learn, it's fun. Then you're going to be going backwards. Then you're going to be doing tricks. Then you're going to be jumping. Then you're going to be learning how to skate on uh, four wheels. It's fun. And by the way, skating on four wheels is not as hard as it looks. If you've seen people on YouTube skating on four wheels, trust me, it's not that hard. Skating, what you have to realize about skating is that it's all about the balance. If you're balanced... You can do pretty much any trick in the book or near about any trick in the book as long as you're balanced. As long as you're in the right position balance wise, right? If you're not balanced, you're going to slip and fall. And that is the thing that new skaters have to overcome is um, just learning their uh, their balance point just learning that skating roller skating right it's it's all about the balance it's all about um, being in good position being right being able to and then to move well let me say this skating I don't know how to describe it, but you're kind of like, in order to move, you have to have balance, but you're effectively pushing your weight off of one skate to the next, and that's pretty much how you get moving, and once you realize that, you're going to easily be able to go forward. You know, you just have to learn the balance part. Going backwards, it's a bit different. But the concept is still pretty much the same. Um, jumping too, doing jumps. It's all about balance. Spinning, it's all about balance. And even me, I've never learned how to like spin on skates correctly <laughs> I've done a few spins but I end up falling right sometimes I think it's the skates I don't know because <laughs> I always see people that spin and they always have the most like expensive skates on and I'm like maybe I should buy more expensive skates I don't know if I got more serious into roller skating I probably would like buy more expensive skates like some right ales or something like that uh, I don't know it it was fun I, I don't know why I got out of it but um <laughs> show them to you again These are sure grip roller skates. Not the cheapest, not the most expensive. I 
I bought these four years ago. And they were about 120 or 130 dollars. I wonder how much they cost now. I didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure they cost more now than what they did four years ago. So, mm. and that's if they still make these type of skates. skates if you don't know how to skate why not take the time to learn a new skill that's fun that'll help burn calories and then pretty soon you'll be dancing on roller skates you'll have your headphones in and just dancing on roller skates right but do it safely though like I wouldn't recommend it if there's like a bunch of people around like maybe if you're by yourself or something like that maybe you could do it but mm. but yeah I do thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great weekend stay tuned for a Saturday and Sunday video. I try to upload Saturdays and Sundays for sure because I know that um, you know people look you know people will be tuning in more on the weekends and so that's why I try to upload every Saturday and every Sunday. Because I want people to experience ASMR. Right? So, I hope you were relaxed by this video. Thanks for watching.